Hey everybody, I'm Doug. And I'm Sam. And this is The Bottom Line. Episode 29. Filming on location. And we're not going to tell you where the location is yet, but uh, in a couple of weeks we'll be back at the worldwide Bottom Line Studio Headquarters. AKA Doug's house. <laughs> <laughs> My house, okay. So shout out to Marine Data Solutions and Salty Rag Crew Apparel. Uh, Marine Data Solutions, they're actually, we're using their data to upload the video. And to watch porn. Oh. No. And, Whoa. <laughs> and uh, Salty Rags Crew Apparel, who provide our uniforms. Okay, anything else? Um, shout out to our doctor. He does COVID-19 testing. His email is soflowcovid at gmail. He's within 24 hours. He's fast, and it's super easy, and he's really nice. Yeah, actually, soflowcovid at gmail.com. Yeah. 24 hour turnaround, he comes to the yacht. If you're in South Florida, use him. It's good for the Bahamas, we use him. That's why you don't have to wear masks anymore. Yeah. Hey doc. All right, next. Um, oh wait, a little oh. later, we're gonna talk about, talking about doctors, we're gonna talk about legal drugs on board. You guys need to tune in for this yeah. because it's kind of important. But it go ahead. Important. Now, what do we got so next? So on industry news today, in the Gulf, Hurricane Sally, uh, it's Alabama. Oh my God, this was devastating. Look at, here's some video. Yeah. Oh wait, look at that alligator. There's an alligator in your front yard in the middle of a hurricane I'm come on honey we gotta run out of the house nope. Well, nope there's a nine foot alligator waiting for us that sucks nope and i'll be locked in yeah yep. here's some uh here's some photos of some of the boat damage it's bad over there i hope yeah. everybody's safe and i hope everybody recovers yeah me too next also over in australia luxury yacht skipper is fined after repeated lies about going ashore <laughs> so they quarantine to the boat he pulls in and uh they kept calling him and saying, hey, are you on the boat? He's like, yeah, yeah, I didn't go anywhere. Well, it turns out he went to the hardware store. He went to get some coffee. He went grocery shopping. <laughs> okay, cameras, people. You can't go anywhere on the planet without cameras. Yeah. He has to pay $4,500. He'll, he'll get over it. Jesus. And it's just... <laughs> Chris wants to know if he can grow out his beard. Dude, see the camera? <laughs> this is a show. No, you can't grow out your beard. What, you, you want a lumberjack? Go mountain chop man. Someone. Matter of fact, go. Shoot, go. You need to. You need to shave right now. Every single episode with oh, him. Oh my goodness. Every single one. Okay, go ahead. Next. Um, in Maine, mega yachts are visiting. It's either some love it, some hate it. Okay, we reported before, earlier that uh, all the mega yachts aren't going to the meds, so now they're in Maine because yes. that's pretty much COVID-free. Yeah. But all the people in Somme Sound are complaining about all the mega yachts in Maine. Oh my goodness. Okay, here, quote. They're throwing parties at night. They have the music blaring. The lights are blinking. The lights are blinking. We don't blink our lights at night. No. One, uh, nobody else. Uh, somebody else said that one of them has a helicopter and it's flying around all the time, picking up people and dropping them off. So, they, man, you need to calm down a little bit. You know, yes, they, take a little they actually back. say there's no sensitivity to the fact that they're in somebody's neighborhood. These things, I don't know. What uh, do you? Uh, I just, you know, calm they're, down. They're a bit. bringing in a lot of money to the uh, <laughs> to the area. Next. Motor yacht octopus. Lights is blinking? Right? I know, right? Lights don't blink. Okay, go ahead. Unless it's a strobe light. Or a strip joint. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> so, motor yacht octopus is up for sale. Oh my god, this monster of a boat. How big is it? It is 414 feet. And how much do they want for it? $349,074,000. That's like 300 million euro. This Yowza. thing's insane. It's got 62 crew on board it's got a submarine it's ice classed it's 10,000 gross tons and it's gorgeous two helicopters gorgeous. of all the boats to be a bond boat oh that would definitely come on i mean this was paul allen's boat yeah. i mean this guy was a legend i mean think about this how many subs do you want mr allen well, well i'll two. take one. No, we oh, need it's two two how huh. many helicopters do you want mr allen? well two and a spa a spot. Well, we gotta have the spot. You have to have All right. the spot. All right. Next. <laughs> I hope it sells. I, you want to buy it? Go and have these. So, on where are we now? Ooh, this is cool. Go ahead. This so, is brand new because we're traveling. <laughs> we're not in the worldwide studio of the bottom line. Again, AKA Doug's house. <laughs> okay. So where are we now? Uh, okay. Do you see this? Do you see the spinning globe? Pressing the button. Ding. And now it's gonna spin because it wasn't spinning before. <laughs> oh man. Okay. So here, here we are. And we are, as you can see, we are in the Galleon Marina. That's actually the slip. You can see us right there. And we are in the beautiful... Key West, Florida. Key West, Florida. That's pretty cool. We are traveling with the owners. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, 
for having a great trip. Go ahead, next. Yep. In Crew Corner. What about Crew Corner? We're going to go over uh, Captain Brandon Freeland asks about medical drugs on board. Very good question, Brandon. Uh, wait, talking about Crew Corner? Yeah. What did you guys do today? Well, <laughs> we got to have the perks of being on a yacht, so we got to go yeah, out here's, snorkeling here's a picture, today. Here's a picture of my crew hard at work. Yes, yes they went out snorkeling the in the boat. <laughs> we have awesome owners. We're on an extended cruise. Yes, thank you. And they're like, you, go Ryan. ahead, go have some fun. Yes. All right, so uh, Captain Brandon... <laughs> Uh, he's traveling up and down the East Coast, and he's been asked a couple of times about drugs on board. Yeah. You know, and uh, I had to look it up. Okay, so I'm going to be very serious, but this is our, my opinion. All right. If you are traveling to the U.S., regardless of your flag, and you fall under U.S., if you fall under U.S. law of hiring, uh, according to the Americans with Disabilities Act, you can't ask anybody if they're on medication when you hire them. And guess what? If I'm hiring you, you don't have to tell me. Crazy. You can't ask somebody if you're hiring if they're on medication, and they are not required by law to tell you. So that puts the boat crew, cap, uh, crew and captain. Yeah, that, that blows my real, mind a little bit. A really bad situation, yeah. but it's it's a it's a law. So now there's a couple of there's a couple of ways. I don't want to say out of this, yeah. but to keep everybody safe, um, if they pause, if they pose a significant risk to themselves or others, um, then you know, they're exempt from, you know, the hiring process. So you have to wait for them to be loopy on board doing line handling or apparently, something for them to be like, hey, you know. Apparently, yes, yes, you do. You that, have to wait to terrible. see it no. and then you have to ask. And the kind of medication they're taking is confidential. They don't even have, they don't have to show you what they're taking. That's I have, I insane. have a big problem as a captain, somebody with a stash full of drugs on and I can't even ask them what's going on. That's, that's insane. But as a captain, you can ask them or you can, use that uh, as a safety issue because of mm -hmm. course it's a safety issue you gotta get them off the boat yeah. and they can't come back at you now yeah. from the licensing standpoint that's a little different now you had something with one of your friends oh yeah so my friend recently um went to get his captain's license and he has a medical marijuana card but when he was in the process of doing Whoa. it trying to get his captain's license and he's smoking pot all day he, not all day i mean it's occasional he okay so what card. happened when he went so pretty much they told him they couldn't get it because it hinders his news flash guys you can't be have on miracle marijuana yeah. and have a captain's or or, or, or maid's license you can license. see it on your record just so you know so guys. you either have to <laughs> to be licensed you gotta what not, ha not oh, have it not have it yeah. okay <laughs> now for people with 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 uh legitimate um problems yeah. you can still get a license but it has to be uh, uh they could give you a restricted license yeah which means you might not be able to be License to go transatlantic, or but you can do something locally. Exactly. I guess maybe they charge. I guess or yeah, yeah. Depending on how close medical facilities are. Yeah. Now, um, what are some of the? Uh, I, I noticed For this the one. Coast Guard. Yeah. What's this one right here? So there's oh psychiatric disorders. One of the disorders that you can't get a license is psychi uh, psychiatric psychi disorders. psychiatric disorders. That's boat crew. I After mean, a long summer of working, you know what? We might does, go a little. How all the crew slip through the cracks on that? We're all kind of <laughs> little psycho. Okay. Now, listen, let's talk about, okay, down in Miami, whole different story. Uh, the captains are complaining that the guests are taking uh, marijuana on board. They're calling yeah. it it's medical marijuana. Yeah. We figure, our opinion, mm -hmm. that as long as it's what? If you have a medical card or if it's in the dispensary jar that whatever you we get it think, in. We think you're yeah. going to be okay. As long as you prove if you were boarded on the boat that you could prove that it was yours as and a you guest. prescribed it, as a then guest. there you go. We already learned that if you're a licensed captain, you're you not going to have it. a medical yeah. marijuana card. As a guest, chartering the boat. And I'm going to tell you something else. If you're a captain and you are in possession of any dangerous drug, yeah. one to 10 year, one to 10 year suspension of your license. So be good careful. To know. Yeah, yes. Good to know, but I don't think you're going to be fined if they have a medical marijuana card and you get pulled over. No, if you can prove it, Slippery I feel like it's slope. Okay. Anyway, next week we're going to be talking about scamming yacht crew. No, not, not your crew. No, not my crew. Don't scam us. No. Uh, talking about new crew in the industry and people during the hiring process trying to get in your personal information. So next week. So tune in for that. Anyway, I'm Doug. And I'm Sam. From beautiful Key West, Florida. And that's the bottom line. Bye.